Hi everyone, I have a question for you. Why was Jesus baptized by John the Baptist? Because John's baptisms, that was for sinners. But Jesus, he was sinless. He was perfect. And we know that because 1 John 3 verse 5 says, You know that he appeared in order to take away sins. And in him there is no sin. And 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 says, For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So Jesus, being sinless, he fulfilled the requirement of the law. Being sinless, he needed to be sinless to be able to take our sin away. And all the punishment that we should have received for our sin, he took it on himself on the cross. And so being sinless, it was not necessary for Jesus to be baptized by John. John knew this and he confirmed it. Matthew 3 verse 13, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you and do you come to me? Now remember, John was preparing the way for the Messiah, preparing the way for Jesus. And he was telling people to repent. That is what his baptism was as well, a baptism by water to repent. But he said that the Messiah would come and baptize with the Holy Spirit. Verse 11, I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So John knew that Jesus is the Messiah and that he did not need to baptize him because Jesus was perfect. He did not have any sin. So why did Jesus do it? Well, let's continue to read. Verse 14, John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. Jesus obeyed God the Father, and he knew that this was to fulfill all righteousness. Remember, Jesus is the Messiah. There are a lot of prophecies about what he would do, where he would be born. You can read through it in your own time. Over 300 prophecies just about Jesus. And he came to fulfill all righteousness, to obey God the Father, and that's why he did it. John 14 verse 10, Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Now Jesus' baptism also points to the righteousness that we receive because he died for us on the cross. And it also identifies with our baptism in Jesus Christ. Romans 6 verse 3, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into His death? And Galatians 3 verse 26 says, For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Now, when Jesus was baptized, it was right before he started his ministry here on earth. And he went to John the Baptist specifically to be baptized. Verse 13, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. You have to remember, there were no prophets for 400 years. It was silent. And then God sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for the Messiah, for Jesus Christ. And this is important because it was prophesied that he would. Isaiah 40 verse 3, A voice cries, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. This was John's destiny. And even as a baby in the womb, he had a connection with Jesus. The two mothers met, Mary and Elizabeth, and this happened. Luke 1 verse 39, in those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. 
And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Now this is important because John was from the tribe of Levi, a direct descendant from Aaron. Do you understand what this means? It was the priest's duty to present the sacrifices to the Lord. And now Jesus, he is the final sacrifice. He is the lamb. And John knew this. He said in John 1 verse 29, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Wow. Do you understand how incredible this is? John, coming from the line of all the priests that in the past would bring sacrifices to God for sins. Here is the final sacrifice for sins. The Lamb, Jesus Christ. And the people respected John. Because remember, for 400 years it was silent. Then here is John. And everybody came to him to be baptized. They respected him. And they even thought that he might be the Messiah. And then he said, no, I'm just preparing the way. So they knew the Messiah is close. He's coming soon. And then here comes Jesus, the Lamb, the final sacrifice for sins. Luke 3 verse 15, As the people were in expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Christ. Verse 16, John answered them all, saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming. The strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. This was the moment when God the Father wanted Jesus to be baptized by John. John, in front of everyone, showing people who Jesus was, the Messiah. And it was at this moment that he also wanted to show the Trinity. Matthew 3 verse 16, And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Wow! How incredible is that? That God the Father tore open the sky, sent the Holy Spirit to come to land on Jesus gently like a dove, and God the Father speaking for everyone there to hear and to witness. There is only one God, but they are three in one, the Trinity. And we can see how the Trinity works. Their roles are different, but they are one God. GodQuestions.org explains it very well, saying, The Father loves the elect from before the foundation of the world. Ephesians 1 verse 4. He sends His Son to seek and save the lost. Luke 19 verse 10. And the Spirit convicts of sin. John 16 verse 8. And draws the believer to the Father through the Son. All the glorious truth of the mercy of God through Jesus Christ is on display at His baptism. Wow, what a beautiful picture it must have been for the people there to behold all of that. But you know, we will also see Jesus one day again when He comes the second time. I can't wait for that day. If you're curious, if you want to know what heaven is going to be like, then watch this video here and I'll see you there. And always remember, God loves you and I love you too. Take my